Okay guys, let's go ahead and do a two sample proportions test. Alright, so here's our scenario. It says Henry is trying to determine if he should use aluminum or steel bolts. He suspects that in his application that they will fail by stripping more often than the steel bolts. Uh, if he, let me put that in, if he can show that this is the case, he will use steel bolts. But if, but if he cannot, he will use the aluminum bolts as he wants his machine to be as light as possible. So he randomly selects both aluminum and steel bolts from Tacoma Screw, a supplier of screws, and tested them for his application and acquired the following results. He decided to test the alpha level of 0.01. All right, so let's start talking about our data. So I already imported it, and I'm just going to click on View Data Set. And real quick, this is what it gives us. So it gives us the type of bolt and the failure mold uh, that's either stripping or shearing. So the first thing that we can look at is what type of data are we dealing with? And we're dealing with categorical. We're looking at the proportion, sorry, categorical. We're looking at the proportion of failures by stripping by the groups of aluminum and steel. So we've got the data. So we've got grouping variable. Now that we're doing like these comparisons, it's nice to know which variable is grouping and which is our, our variable of interest. So our grouping variable is the failure mode. Failure mode. And the response variable is the bolt type. Okay, so the population, and we really have two. So we've got populations. We've got the steel and aluminum bolts from Tacoma Screw. Sorry. And the parameter is the true proportion of failures by, uh, I think we did stripping, yes, or if the threads strip out. Okay, so we need a null hypothesis, and the null hypothesis is just going to be that the true proportion of group 1 minus the true proportion of group 2 is equal to 0, or the aluminum bolts minus the uh, steel bolts is 0, and then the alternative hulp. The alternative hypothesis is that the true proportion of stripping by aluminum is going to be, in fact, greater than the true proportion of stripping by the steel. And we set our alpha equal to 0. Point, uh, what did we set it at? 0 0.01. Okay. So in your in some other cases, you might be given just the um, Oh, the summary statistics, like the number of failures by stripping for aluminum and the number of failures by stripping for steel, and you just have that. Well, you can always go into something like Excel and actually build the raw data when we're dealing with the categorical variables. So uh, it takes a little bit of work, but you could figure out, you know, if it said there were 200 aluminum strips out of the 300 aluminum bolts, then you could say, well, the aluminum strips were... Uh, you know, 200 and then aluminum non-strips were 100 and you could actually build it all all together. But so I've given myself the raw data. So this is going to be uh, simpler. Uh, also, if you're given the summary statistics, you can always go through and remember if we follow our flow chart, let's look at this real quick. So remember, we can go, what am I testing? We're dealing categorical data. We've got two groups now. Okay. And we'll go through some of these checks. Is it normal? Like we have to look at their sample sizes if it's big enough. And then we can do our two sample t tests. So like these are all the equations that we need in order to do this two sample z test, excuse me, for a difference in the proportions. We have to calculate out this weird little p bar. And then we can calculate out the z score. And then from the z score, we could get our p value. Or we can use our commander, which is way easier to do. Um, so one thing in here that we forgot to do is we forgot to like can't should we even do the test and for right now we need that the that the number of um, of aluminum strips and aluminum shears and steel strips and steel shears all of those have to be over 15. 
So let's actually give that a shot. So first things first, so I uploaded the data already. And I'm going to go to Statistics, Contingency Tables. I want a two-way table. And I want this to be Failure Mode by Type, Statistics. I just want, I don't need any percentages. I just want to see values. And I click OK. And check this out. So it gives us how many aluminum shears, how many aluminum strips, how many steel shears, and how many steel, steel strips. And we're over 15 on all of those, so we are good to go. Okay, so now we need to just go ahead and do our test. Well, we can actually do it straight from our commander. We can go to our statistics. We're dealing with our proportions. And look, we can do a two-sample proportions test. All right, so the group, we said that the grouping failure, grouping variable was the failure mode, okay, and the response variable was the type. Right, that was easy enough. Go to options. We said that it's that P1 is going to be greater than P2 or that the aluminum is going to be greater than the steel. So we'll say greater than. Confidence level, 0.99. And the type of test, we just want the normal approximation. And we can click OK. Now if we look in th at this, we are looking at, okay, so give me just a second. So look, it compared this aluminum shear to the aluminum strip. And that, that's not quite what, what we wanted. So we, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the right grouping variable and then the right, um, the right response variable. So let's take a look at that one one more time. So let's go back to our statistics, our proportions, two sample proportion, and the groups. Ah, yeah, you see, we clicked it backwards. We want the type to be the group and the failure mode to be the response. Easy thing to, to see, but you want the comparisons or the groups to be on the left side of the table. So let's go ahead and click OK again. And here we go. So now we've got aluminum and steel. But we still have a problem. Look, it compared, it's looking at the percentages of shearing compared to the stripping. And we've got a problem there. That's not what we want. So on this one, we've got to go a little bit deeper. So what we can do is we can go to data, manage variables in active data set, and say reorder the factor levels. So the factor levels by default are always alphabetical in our commander. So for the aluminum steel, it already set that one as N, as a group one and group two, but now we've got to get it so that we are comparing the percentage of strips. Okay, so we need to change out the failure mode, and I want to call this failure mode two, not 32, two, make an ordered factor, and then click OK. And then it just lets me choose the levels. So I want shear to be 2, and I want strip to be 1. And I can click OK. And if you look at the data, the raw data, it is in fact given us a new column, and it looks identical to the failure mode, but how our commander is going to read it is that it sees it with a different factor level. So let's do it again. Statistics, proportions, two sample proportions test, and this time we're going to use failure 2, and now click OK. Okay, so we're going to come on down, and now we see, okay, yes, it's taking the aluminum, that 40%, 40% steel, the 68%, we've got the 68 down here, and we're comparing them one to another. And notice, we've got a very large p-value, and we have, we can see our confidence level. Okay, and if we just look at this, we're like, hey, look at this, our x-bar for the or not our x-bar, our p-hat, or the tr the sample proportion of stripping for the aluminum bolts is actually less than the steel. And so we could then just type in the p-value equals uh, 0 0.9999, and then we can say that the p-value is greater than alpha. So we would fail to reject. Now we can write out a conclusion. Okay, so let's go ahead and write out our conclusion, and we could say that uh, Henry collected insufficient sufficient data, and we can say like at the alpha level of 0 0.01 to conclude that the true proportion of um, of, t of aluminum bolts 
and a bolt from Tacoma screw is greater than than the true proportion proportion of steel bolts from Tacoma screw. And we need to say that the true proportion of aluminum bolts that fail by stripping from Tacoma screws greater than the true proportion of steel bolts um, from Tacoma that fail, we'll put this in, that fail by stripping too. That fail by stripping from Tacoma screw. And that would be our complete conclusion. We collected insufficient evidence. Uh, and we can just stop right here. However, there's one more thing that would be good here. He said that he would do something. So we should say that Henry, Henry is going to use the aluminum bolts in his machine. Okay, now had we found significant results, we would need to say then, you know, that we are conclude the alternative hypothesis and then incorporate in the confidence interval. Uh, but for this example, it was failed to reject. So we can stop right here. And in some of my other videos, I've shown how we can write those conclusions. Uh, if you have more questions, feel free to send them my way. But hopefully this gives you the methodology for doing a two sample uh, proportions test uh, within Arc Commander. Go ahead and good luck.